Hello, Anchored listeners, this is Ben. Have you ever had a time in your life when it just feels like bad things are piling on you? Job troubles or parenting struggles, health problems. There's a lot of ways that life can get difficult. How do we react during those hard times? Do we go to God and ask him why he's forsaken us or maybe we turn our backs on him and ignore him altogether thinking he won't help us? It's interesting to look at Daniel's situation in chapter six. Exiled from Israel almost his whole life, almost alone in a godless country. And then a law is passed basically outlawing his faith. I feel like if it were me in his situation, that would be the last straw. So it's interesting to see his reaction. In verse 10, it says that when he learned the law had been passed, he went and prayed. His reaction was to go straight to God with it. Now, we don't know what he said in his prayer. Maybe he was crying out to God. Maybe he was angrily asking God how this could happen. Or maybe he was perfectly at peace about it. Regardless, his reaction is a great demonstration of his faith. So then, skipping to the end of the story, God rescues him from the lions. I think it would be easy to read this story and take away that if we do the right thing, God will save us from hardship. Or maybe if we're going through hard times, we feel we need to do better for God so that he'll end our suffering. But the beautiful thing about the story is that we don't see that from Daniel. He does what he knows to be right, regardless of the circumstances. And when the next bad thing happens, he's arrested and sentenced to death. His faith in God remains. Friends, I believe that God will end all our sufferings, regardless of how well we handle them. He has the power to solve any problem or cure any ailment, but he has a far better plan for my life than I could have for myself. And it may not be until I stand in front of him in heaven. And if I'm to have faith like Daniel, I have to believe that that's the best plan for me. Romans 5.3 says, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance. And that's a hard thing to swallow in the middle of turmoil, and I'm still working on the rejoicing part, but it demonstrates the idea that God may have a purpose for our current hardships. I think the challenge for me is to act like Daniel did and have faith that God will relieve my suffering at the time that's best for me, even if it doesn't seem that way from my own earthly perspective.